What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, back with some more NCAA 14, NCAA Simulation Series, and in today's video, we have number 11, last year's national champs, UCF. Huh? Huh? Did some of you cringe? Did some of you get pissed off? And then we got number 24, Cincinnati, uh, American uh, Conference game, uh, first time ever using either one of these teams. UCF, you know, they, you know, they're basically like the bracket busters of college football. Everybody's screaming, you know, give them a chance, let them get in. You know, if they get smacked by one of the power five schools, they get smacked, and then we don't have to revisit this conversation again. But then you got people like me. We kept saying the same thing for years for Boise State. They finally played the power five school, and they bumped them off. But if this is one of your first times ever watching one of the simulation videos, how we do it, man, four-minute quarter length, Heisman difficulty. We play as both teams' offenses. Only way we play as another team's defense is, is if a team is down a few scores trying to get them back in the game, or if it's late in the game and, you know, we need to make a stop to try to, you know, get a last-minute, two-minute drive to send in an overtime or get the W or something like that. I do not pull for any one team to win more than the other. I come out here, I try my absolute hardest to score as many points with each team, and when I'm on defense, to make a stop this is strictly for entertainment purposes i you know sometimes when i win with one team i still express that i don't think the team i won with is even has a chance in real life especially when i upset bama and stuff like that but you know uh, i gotta get that out there that disclaimer because people always coming through you know getting pissed about the little things but you know what i mean now that we got all that out the way let's come out here and have a great game so without further ado let's get to it shoot the dice on the half i lost it then made it back bet it up double that Head crack, head crack. Get the cash, get the ass. Steve Nash with the pass. Got the drive, no crash. Only do beef with the mash. Plies voice, you big mad. I be dolo, but the game's with me. Never stopping if the tank was empty. Till we touring out in every city. Me and Grease are in every titty. Yeah. I love you, girl, if you fucking with me. Loyalty, that means something to me. All right, man. Here we are in Central Florida. UCF's home, Bright House Network Stadium. Trying to come out here and get ourselves a good game. All right, man, so Cincinnati loses the coin toss. UCF elects to defer. So here we are on the road with Cincinnati getting the rock first, trying to come out here and make some plays. Wigan on a return. He has some decent blocks up front. All right, he's across the 30, across the 40, finally brought down just shy of the 45. All right, man, Cincinnati, for me, personally, they've been really surprising this year. You know what I mean? They're, they're one of those teams who you never really expect to be that great, but they're always you know, around per, per se, but now they're in the top 25. I definitely want to try to get the run game going with Cincinnati. You know what I mean? They're running back Warren the second. He's over a thousand yards here early on in the season. All right, Moore's got a man over the middle. It's Lewis, the best receiver on the squad. Khalil Lewis, 20 yard reception. All right, first and 10, trying to get this drive moving. A little draw play. Warren has some decent blocking up front. He fights his way forward and he picks up nine. Don't forget during the week, guys, you know, when you guys when there's some intriguing matchups coming up, let me know what matchups there are that you want to see out there. I may not be able to do all of them, more with a nice spin, but you know what I mean? I'll try to get some of the key ones out there. Cincinnati is really working it out here on the ground. You know what I mean? UCF putting more people in the box, trying to stop it. More going up top to his tight end, nearly picked off underthrown. All right, second and 10 here inside the red zone. See what we can do. It's a man over the middle is Madaris. Rashad Madaris in the end zone, 17-yard reception, and Cincinnati strikes first. All right, man, so Cincinnati strikes first. UCF and company coming out here trying to do the damn thing. You see the uh, the two impact players, Snelson and Milton. You know what I mean? But we're going to try to come out here and set the tone on the ground a little bit as Killings Jr. picks up four. All right, second and six here for U UCF. Uh, Milton getting out of the pocket. He had one. He missed him using his legs, taking a shot one-on-one -on -one with his guy, and Nixon is able to hold on to that. What a throw and catch from Nixon and Milton. Just like that with that big time throw, UCF is here in plus territory. You know what I mean? Trying to work a little bit. Got some one-on-ones. Just check it down to the tight end. And he went the wrong way, but he finally gets it going. Four yards to pick up by Colabile. Kenzie Milton is two for two out here today, man. Second and six. Put it on the ground, see what we can get. Don't got the best of blockings. Killings make something happen, though. Three-yard pickup. All right, third and four. Need this first down here for UCF. Blitz is coming, but we do a good job of picking it up. Give me that block. Squeeze through there, Nixon. Nixon with another big play. 13-yard reception. All right, man, first and goal. Trying to punch it in. Good read there from McKenzie Milton, and he walks in the end zone untouched. UCF strikes back. All right, man, so UCF actually misses their extra point. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Cincinnati has the rock back. We'll try to make up for that later on here in the game. 
Moore back to throw. He has a wide open receiver. Get us. Jukes off his man. Breaks the tackle. Tries to back juke another, and he's hit after a 23-yard gain. All right, it's a big third down here for Cincinnati. Wanted to put it on the ground. You know, Moore doesn't like what he sees, so he goes ahead and audibles. Play action. I don't know where. Oh, my goodness. That was just a bad chain of events right there. All right, so the UCF defense forces a punt, gives their ball. All right, so the UCF defense forces a punt, gets the rock back for their offense, touchback on the punt. You got Killings here on the screen pass, trying to fight for the first down. He's going to be, oh, they actually give it to him. Okay. All right, first and 10 here for UCF. A little play action. Got a man over the middle. I mean, not over the middle. Excuse me, Nixon cut out. Oh, beautiful juke move, but he still gets knocked out of bounds. All right, second and four here for UCF. Run a little shovel pass. And they pick up the first. He stumbles, picks up some more, picks up his feet. And uh, six for six on a day for McKenzie Milton. Milton is having one of those days. In real life, he has 21 touchdowns and only five picks. He has a man over the middle. It's who else but Trey Nixon picking up the first down. Can't ask for a better day for McKenzie Milton out here. Audible it up. You know what I mean? Spreading them out because they're passing all over them. Should be easy running lanes here for Killings. He's down at the one-yard line. Second and one here for UCF. Doing a good job of keeping his defense, you know, off balance. Having, having them all spread out. And McKenzie Milton... Breaks a tackle and is right back in the end zone. They go up for, they go up. All right, so UCF actually hits their extra point this time. You know, so they, they're they they're only up six still because of it. But a minute seven left here for uh, Cincinnati to see what they can do with it. More over the middle to his man, Madaris, and he holds on to it. Nice little throw and catch. He's got a man over the middle. It's Madaris again. So right now, the slot men for both teams are really eating out here today. Cincinnati holding on to those timeouts. Moore getting out of the pocket there. Nobody's really open. He has a lot of running room. He's going to get the first plus more, and he gets out of bounds. All right, first and 10 here. Clock finally stopped for UCF. He's got a man open. Can he make the throw more to Madaris? He's unable to get his feet down. That was a good throw. All right, excellent route there. Excellent route combination there. Moore just not quite able to keep his receiver in bounds. This time he has Rollins over the middle, and he is just going to be stopped short. On the inch yard line, basically. All right, 22 seconds left. Cincinnati's been able to, you know, do to, to uh, complete this drive without any timeouts used, and Warren's going to walk into the end zone untouched. Cincinnati answers back. All right, man, so here we are, end of the first half. 14-13 lead. UCF is getting the rock back to start off the second half. This has been a great game so far. Let's see if they can keep this energy. All right, man, here we are starting off the second half. Kenlins Jr. back here to return the kick. See what he can make happen out here. Jukes, and he makes a couple people miss. He tries to get to the outside. He's brought down after 26 yards. Both offenses have looked phenomenal out here today. I believe Milton is still perfect on the day. He wants to keep that up as he hits his man Peyton, but that's that's over because Peyton can't hold on to the rock when he gets hit. Nice read. Oh, make that block. Killings with the chop block. Milton, oh my goodness. Milton has a lot of wiggle room. Get out the way. Our receiver handed on us. No, he was gone. I didn't need you to get in front of me to make that block, but nonetheless, big play by McKenzie Milton there. All right, man, here we go first and 10 for UCF. Should have had a touchdown if you ask me. He's got a man over the middle. It's Davis. I believe that's his first catch of the day. In the red zone. Ah, Milton having to get out of the pocket. He's going to try to do it with his legs. He gets the one big block he needs. He gets hit, and he puts it on the ground. Cincinnati recovers on the one-yard line. <clears throat> All right, man, so McKenzie Milton gets caught, feeling himself just a little bit too much. A lot of big runs here in this uh, quarter, but just like that, he puts it on the ground, and the fullback, LaBelle, picks up a big first down, giving his offense some room. Can UCF come back and make the stop to pick up their quarterback? Moore with the play action here. He has a man wide open. It's the Gora. He's stiff-arming, and he's eventually brought down. 25-yard pickup. He lives to fight another day. Second and 10 here. He's got a receiver. It's Gidgers. Oh, he hits up the DB. He's going to the race. He's got one to beat. Caught, but he's down inside the 20, inside the red zone. Second and goal here, man. Let's go. See if we can get in this end zone. More back to pass. No receiver open. He's trying to use his legs. He has a chance. He gets into the end zone. What a play from Hayden Moore. All right, so UCF isn't in bad shape. Only down eight here. You know what I mean? Let's see if they can if they can come back from this turnover. Nice little route there, ran by Davis. He stays inbound, breaks inbounds, breaks a tackle down inside the 45. Milton is having a hell of a day passing. 10 for 11, 162 yards. No touchdowns, no picks, but he does have the one fumble on the ground. Little play action. He's gonna get outside the pocket there. Everybody's covered up, but they don't have a spy on him. 
This is where he's been eating at a lot today. Good juke. He made that DB look silly as he gets out of bounds. Big pickup there from McKenzie Milton. 92 yards on the ground today, plus two touchdowns. One could be mad at McKenzie Milton continuing to run, but he's the reason why they have two touchdowns here today. First and 10 here. Let's see what we get out of it. Little fake, uh, fake option over the middle to Peyton. Can he stay up? He's brought down, but he's down inside the red zone. All right, man. You know what time it is, fellas. Get those fours up. Eight-point lead here for Cincinnati on the road. UCF is driving, though. Great game. Let's see if they can keep it up and who's going to come out on top. All right, so here we go. First and 10 here for uh, UCF. Read option. McKenzie Milton makes a great read. He has some blocks up front. He's fighting his way just short of the end zone. Still choosing out the slot, man. Just continues to make plays. All right, man, on the one-yard line here, Milton's going to hand it off to Killings. He has all the blocking he needs up front, and he gets in the end zone untouched. All right, man, so we got 346 left here in this quarter. UCF is electing to come out here and go for two. They're going with the read option. McKenzie Milton has been eating there all day, and we have ourselves a tie ball game. All right, uh, so Cincinnati back here to return their kick, see if they can get to make something shake. One thing we don't do, I mean, another thing we don't do, I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, we don't, ooh, oh no, you need to pick that up. Hicks with a big time uh, fumble recovery there by his teammate, dropping the ball, that's huge. All right, third and 10 here for uh, Cincinnati. See if they can get some, make some shake here. Auto blowing uh, his tight end, Degora, back. UCF has everybody in coverage, except they lose Giddis. He gets a big catch and he's across the 50. Giddis just coming out here, finding a soft spot in that zone. You know what I mean? Big time first down catch there. Third down conversion. Moore back. Hitting his guy. Get us again. Back to back. Right to his go-to receiver. Thomas Gittis is eating today. Four catches, 121 yards. 10 for 16 for Hayden Moore on the day. A touchdown, 241 yards. Trying to get in this end zone here. All right. Back again. Moore's going to hit his running back out the backfield. Warren at second. Picks up eight. All right, man. So we're under three minutes here. This is a hell of a game. I love games like this. I, you know, UCF is in a, actually in a lot of shootouts often. He checks down to Degora there, and he's inside the 10. All right, so first and goal here for Cincinnati. You know what I mean? No more four down territory. They have to get into the end zone here. They're bringing the blitz on more. He picks it up with his legs, and he's going to get into the end zone. What a score for Cincinnati here late in this ballgame. All right, man, so Cincinnati hits their extra point. 28-21. Killings Jr. back here trying to return a kick. Trying to give his team good field position. Two minutes left here in this ball game. Oh, he loses yards. I don't know why he ran backwards. You see here, yards by half. Both teams are very similar. You know, Cincinnati just had their drive, so of course they're going to be up on UCF. But it's their turn now. This is probably the best I've played with any two quarterbacks, you know what I mean, in this series so far. You know what I mean? You know, like the mid-major schools. Milton getting out of the pocket. Nobody can get open for him. Both quarterbacks have been able to run. Both quarterbacks... Throw well. Milton's out here beasting, baptizing people, breaking tackles. You got to love it. Just over two minutes left here in the quarter. Milton back to pass. Nobody's getting open for this man at all. And he just continues to use his legs. He's going to eat here. All right, get down. No need to fumble again. Both these quarterbacks have really been able to come out here and eat on the ground, man. It's like I don't think the teams expected them to run that as much as they've been running today. But they better bring a spy out here or something. Milton has a man over the middle. It's Nixon, his favorite target today. Trey Nixon continues to eat out here. Five catches, 121 yards, 24.2 yards a catch. First and 10 here for UCF. You know what I mean? They're going to score. They're going to leave a lot of time on the clock for Cincinnati. Oh, they played everything perfectly there. Milton uses his legs once again. Get down, and we're down inside the 10-yard line. UCF is three for four here in the red zone. This is where Milton's one, one fumble was. So he's going to try to make up for that here. Has a man over the middle. It's Davis. He holds on to that. Gabriel Davis is having a pretty big game as well. All right, man. So we're under a minute. McKenzie Milton still only one incompletion out here today. 50 seconds left. Little read option. They send everybody. And they play it perfectly. Milton gets back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, he loses one. UCF is going to have to use a timeout. Third and goal here for UCF. They got trips left. Spreading everybody out, but looks like they want to keep it on the ground. They get the ball to Killings Jr. He's in the red, in the end zone. Excuse me. They're an extra point away from tying this up. All right, man. So we got 42 seconds left for Cincy. Three timeouts. Remember, they got down the field at the end of the first half with without using any timeouts. Wiggins is bringing it out despite his fumble. Last kick return. He gets a good return here across the 30, 38-yard pickup. 38 seconds left. All right, man. So here we go. First and 10. 
38 seconds left here for UCF. Let's see what they can do, man. Of course, they send everybody vertically. Nobody open for more. He breaks down. Hits his running back, Warren, who's brought down. First timeout is... All right, so here we go. 31 seconds left here. Fresh out the timeout. Moore trying to get one of his receivers open. Trying to switch things up. Not liking what he sees. He has a receiver in his Guinness again. He gets out of bounds. 15-yard reception for Thomas Guinness. Hayden Moore, 14 for 20 today. Great game. You Like I said, both quarterbacks are playing absolutely insane. He's back to pass once again. He's got a man over the middle. Can he get it there? He does hit his favorite target. The slot man, Madaris. Rashad Madaris with another catch. He's been eating over the middle of the field today. All right, man. All right, man. So it looks like Cincinnati is in field goal range here. They, they, they want to play a little bit, you know, a little bit safe. They hand it off to Warren. You know what I'm saying? He's down in the middle of the field. No huddle on the ball. You know what I mean? No need to, to make it any harder than what it has to be. Running the ball. They, they might want to run another play. No, they're not. They're going to run the clock down to two seconds left, and they're going to call their last time out. All right, man, so UCF tries to ice the kicker. It's a calm night here in Central Florida. And Smith is nothing but Smith in the upright. The kick is up. It looked like it wasn't going to get in there, but it squeaks. I mean, swings back to the middle, and Cincinnati is going to escape here on the road with the big upset over UCF. That's going to do it, man. The clock has hit triple zeros. This is probably one of my funnest games that I've played here in this simulation series, you know, bar none. Let's go take a deep dive into the stats. All right, man, so taking a look at the final stats, Hayden Moore for Cincinnati, 15 for 21, 303, a touchdown, no picks, 71 completion percentage, 20 yards of completion, 42 was his longest of the day. For UCF, Mackenzie Milton, he, he did no wrong, you know what I mean? Even his one incompletion was a drop pass, 13 for 14, 206, no touchdowns, no picks, 92 completion percentage, 16 yards of uh, completion. On the ground, though, for UCF, this is where Mackenzie Milton really, really shined. 11 carries, 150 yards. 11 carries, 150 yards, 13.6 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Adrian Killens Jr., seven carries for 21. Only 2.9 average, but he scored two touchdowns as well. Cincinnati, Michael Warren, eight for 36, a touchdown. Hayden Moore, five for 46, two touchdowns. And then LaBelle, Bruno LaBelle, one for 12. Both of these quarterbacks played extremely well. They were extremely efficient through the air, and they both got it done on the ground. Receiving for Cincinnati, Thomas Giddes, five for 136, no touchdowns. Rashad McGarris, four for 75, a touchdown. Warren and DeGora chipped in with two catches. Rollins. Rollins and uh, Khalil Lewis, the impact player, chipped in with one. UCF, Trey Nixon, the slot man killed. Five for 121, no touchdown. Gabriel Lewis, Gabriel Davis, excuse me. Three for 43, no touchdowns. Two and two for Killens and uh, Calibio. I'm sorry if I butchered his name. And then Tristan Payton, he had the one drop, but he had a big catch for 16 yards. Defensively for UCF, uh, Kyle Gibson led the squad in tackles with six, all solo, followed by Richie Grant with five, and then uh, Brandon Moore with four, along with Aaron Robinson. UCF wasn't able to get any sacks. They, they did not catch any picks. They had a couple drop, a few drop picks, two by Kyle Gibson, one by Brandon Moore. For Cincinnati defensively, safety Derek Forrest led the squad in tackles with six, all solo, and then a plethora of people had three. Uh, they weren't able to get any sacks as well. They were able to get one tackle for loss by Tyler Gabriel. No picks for them either. And all in all, man, this was a pretty good game. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the scoring summary. This is a good game all in all. Uh, the only quarter where UCF did not score was the third. But, you know what I mean, they made up for it in the fourth. And it came down to a last second field goal. Let me know in the comment section below, is this the game that UCF, you know, loses? Or will they continue to play well and continue to make their case for the college uh, and continue to make their case for the college and continue to make their case for the college football playoff? If you guys enjoyed this video, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you thought, man. You know, this was like I said, this was probably my funnest game, most favorite game that I've played in this series so far. If you're new, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell notification. That way, I mean, hit the little bell. That way you'll get a notification every time we post a video. You won't miss a beat. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.